Hallelujah. We give God thanks for another day, for He has indeed been good. We greet you once again here from Armor of Light Ministries on the island of Barbuda. We thank God for His love, His mercy, and His kindness. And we thank God for you who have joined us once again to worship the Lord and to lift up His holy name. Almighty God, we honor you. We bless you. We give you the highest praise. God, you are wonderful. Words cannot explain, dear Father, who you truly are to us. We humble ourselves, dear Father, and we reverence you. We place you on the highest place, dear God, the pinnacle of our heart, dear Father. Father, to all the listeners, dear God, out in the world, dear Father, that are listening to this session, dear God. Father, I ask you one right now, Father, that you minister to every heart, to every soul, dear God. Father, that you will answer prayers, needs, dear Father. You know, God, what we need, dear Father. And you are able to supply. So, Father, we give you thanks, dear Father. We give you praise, Father. We glorify your name. In the name of Jesus, we bless you. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We'll worship God today in two songs. With fire with fire and a heart of worship. Hallelujah. We invite you just to worship the Lord with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. 
Jesus, we bless your name. It's all about you, Jesus. 
Hallelujah. We give you thanks, Father. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. At this time, our scripture reading will be read as we continue in the service. May God bless you. Praise the Lord. Thank you for another wonderful evening as we bless you and give you praise. Today we will be reading from the King James Virgin. We will be going into the book of Psalms and we will be taking from chapter 139 and we're going to read from verses 1 to 14. O Lord, thou hast searched me and know me. Thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compass my path and my lying down, and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it all together. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thy hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, I cannot attain unto it. Whither shall I go from thy spirit, or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascended up into heaven, thou art there. If I met my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say surely, the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. For thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that I might, and that my soul knoweth right well. I thank you. Here end of the lesson. We bless you in the name of the Lord, and we thank God for another glorious opportunity that we have today. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless the Lord. It's Hallelujah. wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Mother Grace is going to help me sing a song which will be, which is related to what we're discussing today.
Thank you, Mother Grace. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> bless the Lord. Hallelujah. So thankful for another wonderful opportunity that we have. God has orchestrated the circumstances completely that we can share with you a few thoughts. Today we want to look at heart tests. H-E-A-R-T, heart tests, T-E-S-T-S. And you know I like to start with Dr. Webster and there's a big definition about the heart of man that uh, the organ that pumps the blood all around the system and then there's quite a bit also on the heart which we are dealing with which is this he calls it the whole personality including intellectual as well as emotional functions or traits as the heart well my little, my little understanding of it is the center of you Amen. the center of you that is not pumping the wrong blood it's a spiritual center of you Amen. spiritual emotional uh, Amen. but Tests, T-E-S-T-S. -E now, if something is wrong with the organ that pumps the blood around, we're gonna have to have a specialist to deal with that. And quite a bit of equipment to check the rate of the speed of the beats and all of that but this heart that we are talking about this evening is the side that the people don't see they only see a manifestation of what's going on in there but the creator your creator my creator has the best equipment Amen. For testing the heart. Amen. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. And you can be sleeping or you can be in a flight. You, wherever you are. Since he created you, he knows what to do. Amen. <laughs> Bless him. He will get to your heart. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm thankful for the support in the worship. Refining, purify my heart, oh God. Purify my heart. Call to have heart purified. Yes. Mm. <laughs> and the word, the lesson which was read, Psalm 139, oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. Uh, my Lord, my Lord, so much there. You search out my path and my lying down. You're acquainted with all my ways. Oh, my Lord, such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, I cannot attain unto it. Where shall I go from your spirit, or where shall I flee from your presence? Oh, what a, I tell you, that would take a long, long time. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me and the light about me be night, even the darkness is not dark to you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Amen. Fantastic. Hallelujah. Verse 13 says, For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. Oh, yeah. I praise you for I am fearfully wonderful and wonderfully made. made. Oh, wonderful are your Hallelujah. words. And my soul knows it. Right, right. Mm -hmm. right. Right. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, my hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Thank you. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, dear Lord, as we go through this this evening, 
we will try by the grace of God to put as much as possible mm -hmm. into a little space. Amen. Amen. Because however you look at the word of God, however you look at the word of God, you, you will find out certain things. Your heart, and I'm not talking about the physical organ that pumps around the blood. The you, the real you, is the center of life. And in Proverbs 4.23, it's pretty clear there it says, it should be guarded. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Remember that? This is no game. You can't play with your heart. It's the center of you. All right. It determines character. Proverbs 23, 7 says, For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. This is so familiar till it's almost frightening that you can be told, you can be told, eat, drink, enjoy yourself by the mouth, but in the heart. I am so glad that God, that God is seeing and reading the heart. Matthew 6, 18 says that thou appear not unto men to fast but unto thy father which is in secret and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. God is not interested in your clothing and so to speak and you have a, a sad looking face because you're fasting God is looking at your heart and my heart. You can be fasting and smiling. You can be fasting and running. We are speaking from experience. Amen. Amen. Your heart is a source of defilement. Matthew 15, 18 says, but those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart yes. and they defile the man. Amen. Oh, dear Lord, have mercy. Amen. You and I can only deal with what comes out of the mouth. Yes. Huh? Yes. We, we can't read the heart. But that's the source of it. Luke 6, 45 talks about controlling the speech. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart Bring forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bring forth that which is evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So sometimes we try to cover up. Yes. Huh? But I am so glad that we are looking at the tests that are done. God is not looking at the outside. God is looking at the heart. It is the source of faith, and this is why some of us are, as it were, faithless. Romans 10.10 10, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. You see, sometimes you hear some ignorance being said. I remember vividly an occasion where Someone that you would regard as highly intelligent said, I don't believe in anything that I can't see. And right away, like the Spirit of God picking me, and I said to the individual, then you don't believe in radio waves. And then you don't believe in a remote control. You sitting down and you moving the, the channels. Shut the individual up. Our mouth can sometimes speak some foolishness. Mm -hmm. 
But you know, before we get into some details, we want to look at an angel heart. Mm -hmm. And God can see and discern the folk coming over you, the folk getting some instrument to put you over you or send you up in some cabinet or something. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ecclesiastes 8, 11. Stubbornness. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. This is calling for you mm -hmm. to examine yourself. Mm -hmm. And I examine, examine myself. Amen. Amen. We thank God for wisdom. Amen. Madness. Wow. Ecclesiastes 9.3 This is an evil among all things that are done under the sun, that there is one event unto all. Yea, also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil Amen. and madness is in their heart while they live and after that they go to the dead but you know this is saying you're mad sometimes you look at situations and you can see people rejoicing in what makes you sad and then you can only draw the conclusion that the person must be mad because how could they rejoice at such a situation but they're mad Amen. This word is encouraging me. And those of you who are serious about God's word, it will encourage you too. Amen. A lot of mad people around. Amen. Depravity. 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 Jeremiah 17 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Who, who can know it? God. Amen. Who can know it? God. Yes, right. Depravity is a big word. It does come from your depraved. Yes. Matthew 23, 25. Extortion and excess. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For you may clean the outside of the cup. And of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Oh, huh? You can imagine somebody giving you a cup <clears throat> with something to drink, mm -hmm. and the outside is immaculately clean. And when you put it to your head and start to drink, and you look in it, you vomit right away because mm -hmm. you can't believe. You can't believe. And you and I might think. That we are cute. Mm -hmm. We look so nice on the outside. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, whether you and I are wearing a robe or whatever, whatever we are doing to impress, okay. in, impressing the Almighty God. Right. The Almighty God looking okay. and reading your heart. That's right. Hallelujah. Bless Ma the Lord. Mark 7, 21, for from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. Hallelujah. You hear where it come from? Yes. Adulteries, fornications, murders, the list goes on and on, mm -hmm. on and on. Amen. So, we worry about the final thing. Yes. But we should bother about the heart. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. when the heart yeah. gets right, those things won't happen. Simple as that. Amen. Now, Hebrews 3.12 speaks about source of unbelief and covetousness. Take heed, brethren, lest there be any of, in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. Amen. Is more than that. It ain't a question mark. It is a reality. Mm -hmm. There are many who have departed from the living God. And you know what I know. It is because of your heart. Yeah. Heart of unbelief. Amen. 
Many could be even healed. Many could be healed. But you can't get, you can't get to believe it. <clears throat> Second Peter 2 Peter 2.14 on the same thing. Having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin. Beguiling unstable souls. In other words, tricking people that can be tricked. And heart they have exercised with covetous practices. Cursed children, Lord. Oh dear. This subject this evening is one which could go on for a long time. A long time. Jesus. But I am praying that you will pay close attention as we go through. Amen. Some of you have children. I hope that parents love children. King David's charge to Solomon, his son, was 1 Chronicles 28, verse 9. And you, Solomon, my son, know the God of your father. And serve him with a whole heart and with a willing mind. For the Lord searches all hearts and understands every plan and thought. That is the best advice that a father could give a son. And he could afford to tell him that because he knew when his heart was searched through. And he had to be corrected. Yes. So he's telling his son, be careful, son. Mm -hmm. Some of you parents need to sit down and talk with your children. Yes, and let them know there's no way to get around God. That's right. No way. This one, I, I thought was most interesting. In Job 10, verse 6. Job is telling God that you seek out my iniquity and search for my sin, although you know that I am not guilty. And there is none to deliver out of your hand. He wasn't accusing God. The pressure had him. Yes. And he was saying, Lord, you, you, you know I am guilty. What? He acknowledged Huh? Yeah. And there's none to deliver out of your hand. Mm. You think anybody understand this? That there's none to deliver out of God's hand? Some of us didn't believe that, you know. My son must be laughing this evening. See that old man up there again. It's this same David. In Psalm 139, verse 23. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any grievous way in me. And lead me in the way of last. Well, how, else, how else are you going to get out of your predicament? You, you and I might as well ask God to, to search us. You know you can search us anyhow. The sin of Judah, Jeremiah 17. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick. Who can understand it? I, the Lord, search the heart and test the mind mm -hmm. to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his deeds. <laughs> Your deeds and mine will surely bear fruit. Think about it. Amen. But if you put seeds in the ground uh, and they get watered, you can get fruit eventually. Right. Somebody didn't understand that yet. <laughs> to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his deeds. You didn't know that your deeds had any fruit, right? Mm -hmm. I tell you, but when you begin to see what comes out of it, in Zephaniah 1, the day of the Lord is near. And this word was, as it were, to Jerusalem. At that time I will search Jerusalem with lamps. And I will punish the men who are complacent. 
Those who say in their hearts, the Lord will not do good, nor will he do ill. In other words, we could do what we, we, could do what we want. Their goods shall be plundered and their houses laid waste. Mm. This is judgment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Though they build houses, they shall not inhabit them. Mm. My God, I got a pause here. Mm. <clears throat> you think it is any fun because you are not right in your heart with God that you plunder <laughs> yeah, just steal. Do all kinds of underhand things to have a lovely home. And you get it finished and you say you can enjoy it. Though they build houses, they shall not inhabit them. Though they plant vineyards, they're good. They shall not drink wine. You hear that? From them. <clears throat> you and I are got to wonder how much longer we can keep up this charade. Mm -hmm. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, this is to let you know that the Spirit of God gives wisdom. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. These things in verse 10 has, re, has revealed to us through the revealed to us through the Spirit. Amen. For the Spirit searches everything. Yes. Amen. Even the depths of God. Amen. For who knows a person's thoughts except the spirit of that person which is in him? So also no one comprehends the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit is from God. Amen. That we may understand the things freely given us by God. Amen. And we impart this in words, not taught by human wisdom, my Lord, this is so wonderful, yes. but taught by the spirit, Amen. interpreting spiritual truths to those who are spiritual. Look, you got to pause there. The spirit of God in man. That's the only way that we can discern certain things. That's right. Amen. Especially the secret things. That's right. The secret things. Mm -hmm. This is so marvelous. Wonderful. This is so beautiful. That whatever your secret is, you should begin to realize that they aren't really secrets. Mm -mm. The Holy Spirit can reveal them Everything. to whoever the Holy Spirit wants to reveal them to. Right. So you would want to kill the people that are in the room with you and want to, um, what is a good word to use? Interrogate them. Mm -hmm. Which of you talk over secrets? Which of you? Which of you? You might even threaten them. But the man of God doesn't have to be in your room to get the secrets. The Spirit of God will reveal to you the exact words that are used in your secret room. According to the saying, excuse the vision, take that. Take that. What you do in secret, the Holy Spirit can reveal to his servants. Yeah, then and then you would want to interrogate the people who are present to find out who told the secret. The Holy Ghost. Arrest the Holy Ghost. Put the Holy Ghost in prison. Jesus. Fool. Jesus. Yes, Mother Graves. Anybody who thinks they can put the Holy Ghost in prison is a fool. The natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God for they are folly to him. 
some of you are really mystified that you can contrive and connive and do all kinds of things and don't know how it's getting out. And he is not able to understand them because they're spiritually discerned. Hallelujah. Ooh. Hallelujah. Anybody who is trusting God, the spiritual person judges all things, but is himself to be judged by no one. For who has understood the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Amen. First Corinthians 2, 10 to 16. Amen. Hallelujah. I said, take that for a reason, because there are many who do not understand how when you have been sworn to secrecy in whatever division you are in and it's still getting out because there's a God which you don't believe in and because there's this Holy Spirit that is pleased to let his servants know what you're doing. And Saul in dealing with the church in Thyatira in Revelation 2 says and it, it says I will strike her children I will strike her children my Lord dead and all the churches will know that I am he who searches mind and heart and I will give to each of you according to your works. Amen. But to the rest of you in Thyatira, who do not hold this teaching, you who have not learned what some call the deep things of Satan, to you I say, do not lay on you any other burden. Only hold fast what you have until I come. Amen. That was a message from Paul. Amen. Look. This stuff is deep. Mm -hmm. This stuff is deep. And there are many cross references. Matthew 6, 4 says, So that your giving may be in secret, and your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Anytime that you are giving, mm -hmm. and you have to have a television camera, <laughs> To show that you are giving. It would really make me wonder if you are giving from your heart or if you're giving to get something in return. Well, you're vexed, so be it. Acts 1 24. And they pray, Lord, you know everyone's heart. Show us which of these two you have chosen. That was a case in which uh, persons were to be chosen a person was to be chosen and they didn't know so they're asking the lord the lord you know everyone's heart shoulders look i remember before you even get to it samuel gone to jesse's house to choose a replacement for saul because saul some of you bible readers will remember disobeyed god and when he saw some of jesse's sons he said, oh, look he looked like the good one. Yeah, he looked good. He looked powerful. He yeah, looked good. You see, God tell him, man look upon the outward appearance, but hey, God search the heart. Oh, yeah. You may be small of stature. You may not have had a sound education. And you may have come from a family that people in this society will say, well, they were poor. But do you know that God can take you because of your heart mm -hmm. and push you past many oh, yeah. that had it so because of what is in your heart. 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 There are many, and, and you've got to be careful because sometimes you associate with people that put you down, put you down. Hmm? God, be very careful. Don't yourself. 
Romans 8, 27, And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. There again. So we, this, this is an encouragement for us. Amen. Amen. Encouragement. Great encouragement. Revelation 22, 12, Behold, behold I am coming soon, and my reward is with me to give to each one according to what he has done. I hope you realize that. Amen. If we look around, we should begin to believe that. First Kings 8, 39. I'm just reading the part. And may you forgive and act and repay each man according to all his ways, since you know his heart, for you alone know the hearts of all men. You alone know the hearts of all men. I mean the word by saying it means that may include women. Yes. You the treasury of scripture here. I the Lord search the heart, I try the reins, even to give every man according to his days and according to his doings. But O oh Lord of hosts that judge us righteously that tryest the reins in the heart, let me see thy vengeance on them, for unto thee have I revealed my cause. Yeah. You know, there are times that when you look on at certain situations, according to the same way, you feel as though you're being unfair. Huh? Yes. Yes. But you, we can afford to read these scriptures and know that God is a righteous judge. Yes. Bless the Lord. Yes. He is, praise God. Hallelujah. And that praise scripture, that scripture that I spoke about. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. Right? Heart Amen. Heart work. God is an even God. Hallelujah. Great in counsel, mighty in work, for thine eyes are open upon all the ways of the sons of men to give every one according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Amen. Another scripture there, you see? Psalm 62 12. Also unto thee, O Lord, belong of mercy, for thou renderest to every man according to his work. Matthew 16 27. Hallelujah. My Lord, my Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There's much that we, much that we can show you from his word, but he will punish you according to the fruit of your doings, saith the Lord, and he will kindle a fire in the forest thereof, and it shall devour all things round about it. Oh, we, <laughs> sounds as though this is very prophetic, I tell you. Amen. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall keep the fruit of their doings. Mm -hmm. The heart is deceitful above all things and yeah. beyond cure. Mm -hmm. Who can understand it? The Lord search the heart. I examine them. I, the Lord, search the heart. I examine the mind to reward a man according to his days by what his deeds deserve. Mm -hmm. Like a partridge hatching eggs. It did not, it did not live. Is the man who makes the fortune unjustly. <laughs> I better read that. I, I, look, I didn't read that good. Like a partridge hatching eggs, it did not live. Is the man who makes the fortune unjustly. In the middle of his days, his riches will desert him. And in the end, he will be the fool. Oh, glory to God. I, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I am praying Amen. this evening Amen. that somebody, yes, Jesus. I am praying that somebody will do some introspection Amen. and Amen. realize that your heart is being searched yes. by the Almighty. Yes, Lord. My heart is being searched by the Almighty. Amen. The Almighty is not impressed by when you put in a thousand dollars. 
Look at the scripture. Jesus said, this woman, oh. huh? she, she put a few of those two little pence, mm -hmm. what you would call pennies. Mm -hmm. Says she gave more than the rest. Because okay. she's given it from her heart. Mm -hmm. She's given. Yes. Our God is fair. Yes. Our God is righteous. Amen. He is blessed. Hallelujah. Why would why would we give him a chance? Jesus. Why wouldn't you let him? Why wouldn't you let him bring change to your life? Is it because you don't understand mm -hmm. that he has your life in his hands? Mm -hmm. I plead with you wherever you are. Mm -hmm. God is examining the heart. Mm -hmm. And you know the heart is the source of life yes. physically. The heart is the source of life spiritually too. Yes. And there's right, some the of you, when I mention about madness, sometimes we don't think about it. But sometimes a person is better off in a box yeah. and going to the graveyard than being mad. Yeah, because right. when you're mad, what? Oh, All of these punishments and judgments Hallelujah. are there Hallelujah. when we do not come into alignment Hallelujah. with the perfect will of God. Hallelujah. My God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You and I have been deceived many by God. many. Yes. Many, many, many times. By many. Mm -hmm. Because we did not deserve that we were being deceived. Jesus. True. Many decisions that we made, we made with good intentions. Mm -hmm. But it did not work out. That's the That's because we did not ask God who mm -hmm. knows. Yes, who knows the hearts of men? I remember I used to say as a young boy, I don't even know where it came from. If I bought a used car, I would say, my, I'm the buying you, you know, I ain't buying the car. So, what do I mean you're buying me? Well, according to what you say to me, if you tell me it is a good car, you can buy it. Mm -hmm. But I will soon know. <laughs> I don't know where he got it from as a boy. But I used to feel if you bought a car, a used car from somebody, that you be, it was based not only on trade out, yeah. but according to what the person has told yeah. I want the truth about this car. Yeah. Right? But I am so glad that God Glory. has equipped us with his Holy Spirit. And we don't Hallelujah. have to go around like blind bar Timius. Because God oh, has equipped us oh, to be able to discern what Amen. we need to discern. Amen. So come, sister, Amen. get ready and come and Amen. put in some prayer here for somebody that I don't know. You just come and pray for somebody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. We praise your holy name. Oh, Lord, we thank you for your blessing, dear God. Thank you, Jesus. And most of all, dear God, I want to bring our people before you, dear God, whose hearts are set on all the things except what you have given us. And I'm encouraging each and every one that is listening to this video whether it be in Barbados or in the region or all over the world wherever these videos go yeah. that Father that we will take introspection in our life Amen. give it to the Father Amen. the one and only one that Amen. you can go to he is the only one Amen. that in the night season when a pain hit you he is the oh, only one oh, that you can yes. call on. And I am encouraging each and every one to call on Jesus. Give Amen. your heart to Thank God. You. God. He is the source you, of everything Thank that you, we are going through. Thank you, and as we are in this pandemic now, Amen. that we will give our heart to him is Especially, especially to God, especially to God, because 
he can soothe our hearts. Yes. For what we are going through, dear God. Yes. Our work, we are in work today, then tomorrow we are out of it. Yes. Who are we going to go to? Only yes. God. Yes. Give our hearts to God. He can soothe every ache and pain yes. that we are going through. He is the only provider. So I am asking each and every one that is looking to God or looking to the source for help. Turn your heart to God. And he is the only one that going to solve it, number one. Solve your heart. He is the only one only that is going God. to bring the cure to us. When we are out there flat on our face. And the only thing that we can do is to go to God. Give him our heart. He's asking Jesus. us. He's waiting patient on us yes. that when we fall, he is there to catch us Lord, and soothe us, Thank pick you. us up, Thank shake you. us off, and put us back where he has been calling us, where he has put us, and we refuse. We refuse oh, to stand yes. on that solid ground where he has put us on. So I am asking each and every one of us out there yes. to give our hearts to God. Yes. He will heal the broken heart. Amen. He will mend every aching pain that we are carrying. Yes. Whether we have food to eat tomorrow. Yes. Whether we have a job to go to. And we call on him. Yes. He is going to sue our heart by saying, yes. I am with you. Yes. And yes. I will yes. never yes. leave you. Yes. I will yes. never forsake you. Yes. And once yes. you turn your life over to him, yes. every one of those words, yes. he will bring them into existence. Yes. That you can see that he is a true and living yes. God. And what he said will go. He's not a man that will lie. True. As long as he say he will, Amen. he will. And I'm giving it to you as he have given it to me. That he is there at our rescue to pull us up and yes. give us the ability that he have been giving us for so long. Yes. And I pray that you all will take it, work with it, and chew on it for the rest of your life. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. amen. God bless you. Thank Father, you, I know that God will answer that prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Answer that me. third verse of the song that Mother Grave sang, Lord, take my life. I would to God that somebody would take this seriously now. Lord, take my take life me. and make it wholly thine. Fill my poor heart with thy great love divine. Take all my will, my passion, huh? my passion my self, my and pride. I now surrender, Lord, in me. Hallelujah. And I read it one more time. Hallelujah. Lord, take my life. Take my life, Lord. And make it wholly done, completely done. Fill my poor heart with thy great love divine. Take all my will, my passion, self and pride. I now surrender, Lord, in me. But join me in a short prayer. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father we thank you. For this, for this opportunity. We thank you, thank you. For, dying for dying in our state. We believe it. We, believe we, it. Receive, we receive the opportunity, the opportunity to say daddy again. To, say daddy again. to, know, that our to know that our sins are forgiven. Are forgiven. We want you, Lord, to live in us, that we will be your ambassadors here on earth, in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord cause his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up the light of his scars upon thee and give thee peace now and evermore. The people say, Amen. 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 For prayer and counsel in your walk with God, please email us at 
Armor of Light Barbados at gmail.com. Thank you and may God bless you.